All right, guys, welcome back to Alpha Entertainment. Here you can see a flashlight that I'm using in this empty house model that I made. There are, there's no lighting and no shaders. It's actually a cool filter trick that I can, a f filter and fog trick that I can show you guys um, how it works. The house model I did develop on my own, as you can see here is basically, well, this is AC3D, and this is what the inside of the house looks like. This is, I found it easier to just draw models in Game Maker. I mean, not in Game Maker, in uh, AC3D. Design my environments entirely in models, and just render them in Game Maker as a D3D file. But this is it. Here's the mesh. Uh... Yeah, I just simply separated all the parts and left it all in one OBJ file. Uh, that table I am not using, but I will show you guys how the flashlight works, actually. It, uh... Okay, so flashlight on is a global variable, and it is triggered by right-clicking... The mouse, or the right-clicking the cursor, or mouse, or whatever you guys want to call it. So basically, as you can tell, D3D set fog for when the flashlight is on. It's going to push the fog 300 away, so the player can see further, and things and the the player can see further, as if the flashlight were to be actually turned on, and then if it's off, it moves the fog closer. So it goes from 300 to 250 on to off. And that is a uh, pretty much it as far as like you know internals work. How this flashlight is able to reveal more of the room if it's on. And here is the filter that draws over the screen. I have basically a f that flashlight circle filter. If you go back and look at that, you can actually see the flashlight filter. It's actually something I'm just drawing over the screen. So I set the D3D set projection ortho to 1366 by 768. And the filter canvas size is the same size. So when the flashlight's on, it will draw the sprite flashlight, which is the transparent circle. And if it's off, it will draw a dark filter over the screen so the room looks darker. So that, combined with the fog, it creates this cool kind of fake flashlight lighting effect. It's really good for indoor horror games. I don't recommend it for outdoor horror games. But yeah, that's about it. I am going to make another tutorial on this project later.